Good Filipino morning to everybody. Derek with Q Adventures here. Joined today by lovely Luchelle May. Hi. Good morning, Luchelle May. How are you doing today? Doing good. That's good. Don't be shy. <laughs> um, well, Luchelle May um, was gracious enough today to allow me a tour or lead me to a tour of her neighborhood. Uh, just an opportunity to understand the local Philippines life. Luchelle May was a guest on uh, I's channel, Philippines with I, uh, which I will put a link um, on the description. And um, we had a few comments on I's channel indicating that Luchelle May was very shy and very quiet. So the audience didn't have a, a good opportunity to understand her personality. So I thought today we would just take that opportunity and uh, uh, kind of tour her neighborhood and give her an opportunity to uh, really express herself because uh, from the interview, it was her first time interacting with me, a foreigner. Any foreigner, right? Yes. Yeah? And before that, you have never uh, uh, talked to a foreigner before? Never. <laughs> That's why you're shy? Yes. Oh, uh, okay. So, Luchelle May, I understand that this is uh, Mandawi City. Yes. But what barangay is this? Barangay Labugon. Labugon? Labugon. Oh, okay. Go ahead and um, lead the way and show me your, your, your neighborhood here. And just tell me what, what I'm looking at, okay? So this neighborhood is just um, like unpaved road. There was a lot of like, uh, you know, this road, this kind of um, terrain here, very rocky, very uneven uh, driving in here. So it was pretty miserable. But um, the neighborhood people are just chilling, relaxing. And when they saw a foreigner come by, everybody came out and everybody was just so happy. And, you know, like uh, grabbing the electric fan, the neighbor grabbing the electric fan and uh, putting in Luchelle's May's house to, uh, I guess, fan up the, the fat foreigner here. <laughs> so what is this right here, Luchelle May? A star of my... A what? A star of my... Tita. Of your tita? Yes. Your auntie? Yeah, my auntie. Oh, okay. Like a sorry, sorry store? What does she sell here? Dry fish. Dry fish. This is dry fish? And vegetables. Some garlic, ginger, ginger some more dry fish, and uh, propane. What is your thing? What is she use to the house for the? Oh, butane. Oh, okay, butane. Okay, go ahead. His father, her father. Oh, and this is Luchelle May's father, a young, a young, young, forty-three. 42 years old? Okay, 43. And uh, the father is a uh, furniture weaver, weaving out of... Um... What's going on up there? Some beautiful ladies. Who are they? Just neighbors? Are they your family? Cousins? Cousins? Is that your daughter? That's your son? Oh, I'm sorry. From from here, I cannot see. So <laughs> you're cute. How old are you? Me? Yeah. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Wow, so young. Have a son. Your husband is over there. No. No. Where's your husband? Working? Huh? Yeah. Working. Okay. Nice to meet you. Her husband's a foreigner? Her, her boyfriend is a foreigner. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, these are the, all the weaving materials, and I guess the, um, this is part of what her father does. And uh, this is the workshop right here, right in front of her house. And she's walking fast. Here, tell me what your father does. What are they weaving? Okay, so the father weaves, you know, furniture, and these are his colleagues, I suppose. And uh, are these your relatives also, or just work? Yeah, these benches and chairs, and this is the entire process. Which is absolutely cool. 
you know, to get a visual of what the process is when we go sit, you know, and on these chairs and stuff like that in the big resorts, the big money resorts. At least we have an understanding. Say that one more time. My mother's job every day. That's your mother's job every day? Yes. Okay, what does she do? do? An oyster. Oh, so your mother gathers the oyster from the ocean and she uh, shucks them. And this is the end result. What does she do with this? Sell it? Yes. Where does she sell it? And my grandma. Your grandma's house? Yes. Okay. Your grandma buys it deliver or the, deliver. deliver what? To the market? Yes, to the market. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, so this is what uh, her mother's job or a way of um, making a living. She de you know, she she um, gathers the seashells from the ocean and deshells them and um, here at home and um, sells it at the market. Okay, go ahead. And this is the house with the tin roof. And the neighbors are just always fascinated. And how many people lives here? Six siblings? Yes. And all six siblings live here? Yeah. And your mother, father together is uh, eight people or nine? Eight. Eight people all together yes. live in this house. house. So when you sleep, how, how do you sleep? Well, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> like a sardine. <laughs> so uh, this is the house. This is the floor plan and layout. And then back over here is just like a storage. Yeah? It's a, uh, I guess a kitchen slash storage. And um, there's no enclosed wall. There's a big opening right there, I guess, uh, for airflow, but also allows the heat to come in in the summer. And um, well, it does not get cold here in the Philippines, so they're okay. And. Um, this is neat. So how many people sleep in this room? Only, Only you? Yes. By yourself? Do you have any sisters? Yes, two sisters. Two sisters and your sisters doesn't sleep with you? They sleep with the family? Oh, okay. So the sister and the rest of the family sleeps out here. And I guess uh, the neighbor said it best, like sardines. You know, the at least they have like a plywood floor with this... Uh, bamboo bench I've seen a lot of local homes you know it's just um, dirt pavement and, and and nothing you know underneath so at least they have something shielded shielding them from um, uh, the, the ground and then these are the electrical system that they have over here it's flying the electricity is flying what does that mean Oh, okay. So it's just uh, suspended. That's what they mean by flying. It's just suspended in the air. Yeah, and all the shoes. This is a shoe rack on top, which is very unique. Look at all the neighbors. The Filipino culture loves the camera. Never shy. Yeah. What is that? Gang signs? Come back. Why are you running? I just said you're not shy and you're running. <laughs> oh, that's uh, Lucio May's brother? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Huh? Yeah, so the exterior, they have like, I guess, access to a... Uh, local river system but i was forewarned that oh wow 
yeah, it's uh, heavily polluted because of the locals. Um, they don't have a way of uh, disposing their trash, you know, like in order for them to properly dispose the trash. Uh, they have to pay uh, monthly dues, which is unpractical for uh, someone with a low income. So it's just easier to, uh, you know, dispose the trash in the river, which causes pollution. So um, that's just the reality of life in the local uh, working class of the Filipinos here, the Filipino community. And um, you can clearly smell the pollution, which is pretty uh, heavy and pungent smell. Uh, but this is part of uh, living. Wow, look at that trash floating. Yeah, and they grow immunity to it and it just becomes normal, you know, like uh, I'm not here to say um, uh, what is right or wrong, but you know, it's just uh, my being accustomed to the Western life, you know, this is a, a, a little bit of an adjustment even uh, to show the uh, community for a brief period of time. I'm only 12 minutes in and um, it, it's very pungent, especially with these shells right here decomposing and the flies. Sanitation can't be uh, top notch here. Well, folks, thank you very much for tuning in and um, thank you very much, Luchelle May, for the opportunity to show your neighborhood and uh, the local Filipino workmanship and life. And to my subscribers, I really appreciate you all tuning in and supporting my channel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, thank you very much for tuning in, and you all have a good day.